you know, uh, starting out just real quick, uh, I mean, we obviously this is a, a great, I mean, a statement that's a, a captain obvious, but we didn't play well enough to win, you know, and that's on me. Um, you know, we, we've got to do a better job with the football. Uh, we've got to do a better job of uh, getting off the field, and, and we've we got some things that uh, showed up last week that didn't get corrected, and uh, again, that's something that I've got to get corrected, so it's going to be a lot of focus on uh, different things this week going into um, going into conference play. So, played a really good football team tonight, and uh, it's uh, disappointing that we didn't play better. Open it up for questions. Joey, what can you say about Ross? Uh, leg. Uh, you know, they, they uh, did the air cast. I uh, haven't heard an update yet. Um, but anytime they cast it on the field, they're, they are afraid of a break. Um, you know, he was uh, he was in uh, good spirits. Uh, a lot of pain, but in good spirits. You know, he kept saying, you know, what's next, coach? Just tell the guys to win. And, uh, man, what a great kid. And I hate it because he was playing really, really well. Um, you know, there's a reason he was starting tonight and was playing really, really well. So we'll, we'll find out pretty quick over the next couple of days where he's at. Which I, I was going to say, I think it was his first career start tonight. You know, yeah. He had been high on him all summer. And so he had continued to progress. Yeah, and he, he again, um, I don't know. I, I thought he had a sack. Uh, it only shows two, but I thought he registered the first sack of the game. So um, not for sure what you see on film. Joey, fourth quarter, second play, fourth and eight, fourth and eight from the own thirty-five. Can you uh, discuss your decision to go for it? Yeah, it just it goes back to how many possessions we're going to have at that point. You know, we're down by uh, two uh, possessions, and if you don't go for it there, uh, they've got a good chance to where you're only going to get the ball back once, and then you're. Um, hoping for an onside kick after that. And so uh, we went with it. Um, you know, we, we had, uh, again, shouldn't have got to that. I mean, we, we had the, the play before that uh, we don't get the first down and we should have got the first down and we shouldn't have been in that situation, but it was a go from there. We knew it was a go. Kitley uh, going into the play call of uh, the third and fourth down knew that he had two plays to get the first down. I'm sorry if you answered this to a degree, but NC State's defense, they have a lot of guys back from last year, veteran guys. What was the difficulty in getting rolling against them with, you know, they pressured the quarterback to shut down the run? Yeah, they, they did a good job of uh, mixing up, you know, coverage. I mean, uh, he does a great job whenever you're in that odd stack of bringing pressure whenever he needs to bring pressure. And, um, you know, again, um, dropping eight at different times. Um, so, I mean, I thought I thought that he gave uh, some young two young quarterbacks a lot of looks, um, made it difficult early, um, but we dropped the first ball. Um, we ran the ball in the second quarter. Uh, 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 Sir Roderick had a had a, a a good second quarter running the football. So it's one of those deals of um, we've got to make the plays that are out there also and. Um, but he, you know, I played against him whenever he was at West Virginia, and Tony does a great job, and he's a, he's a really good football coach. Is there anything else tonight that NC State did that you felt was just ultimately decided the game in this one? Uh, well, we, I mean, they intercepted the ball three times. This is the second week in a row that we've turned the ball over three times. You can't do that. I mean, they have a 93% chance to win the game when they have three turnovers. So uh, they definitely, you know, that was, that was big. Um, I mean, there was a fourth and one that we should have got, and we threw an interception. Uh, and that, that goes back to me. That goes back to uh, the coaches. It's, it's not on the player right there. It's on the coaches that we got to make sure we understand that uh, we put them in the best situation right there. Is there anything to talk about that you saw tonight with those interceptions? No, I mean, uh, I think there was one tipped, and that one that was fourth and one, we should have run the ball. Um, again, that was I mean, that's on me. It's not on Donovan. That's on me. I mean, for him to have the option, um, it, it goes back to coaching. It doesn't go back to the player. It goes back to coaching. So we got to make sure that he understands 100% that we're going to get the first down uh, running the football.
Joe, are you any more inclined to play Barron or play Barron earlier? No, I, you know, I, I think both of them came in and, and uh, did some good things. Um, you know, I mean, that's a, I, I think we grew tonight in some ways. Um, I definitely think that we're growing on the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, I thought that there were some times that we put ourselves in some bad situations and, you know, held them to field goals and kick field goals and, you know, kept the game um, in, a, in a good situation where they didn't run off with the lead whenever they could have. Um, but, you know, I, I feel good. We're going to go in this week and watch the film and, you know, see where they are and, and uh, you know, come out. Both of them played. Um, we probably could have played Barron earlier, um, but, you know, we'll do the same thing against Texas. I think both of them play against Texas. When, when the offense struggles to the degree it does the last two weeks, of course, you've also faced two defenses that have a lot of experience, personnel, good defense coordinators that have great reputations. Do you say, it, how, much, in other words, how much do you make of it? You thought you ran up against two really good defenses and the offense will get better just because you, you'll face some defenses that aren't that good? Or, or is it concern, how concerning for, for you is it? Um, you know, we're, we're going to face I mean, you saw the, the, the next team we played, how they played uh, last week. I don't know what they did tonight, but, um, you know, we're going to face some good defenses in the, in the Big 12. Um, I, I think we have to be better in um, catching all catchable balls, um, getting vertical when we <laughs> catch it. You know, we, we got to put ourselves in good situations, you know, and that goes back to uh, being more focused, obviously, in practice and, and making those plays. Um, and, you know, I ask everybody in there, look in the mirror. I said it earlier this week to look in the mirror, make sure we're continuing to get better. Um, but there's some stuff that uh, we've got to do as a staff um, to put these guys in better situations. Got time for about two or three more. I was going to say, what, what can you do from a protection standpoint? Oh. Um, it's a mixture, you know. Uh, we, I thought we were better than we were. Um, last week in the protection standpoint. Um, you know, I, I definitely thought that uh, some of them, whenever you're talking, is getting the ball out on time. Uh, so you can't just put that on the offensive line. Um, it's a mixture. Of, you know, it's three things. It's your play call, your quarterback, and your offensive line. And you've got to look at the film and see which one it was on the four sacks we gave up tonight. Um, and it's going to be a mixture of, of all three. Well, I guess you could say a fourth because they're pretty good on defense. So uh, they have something to do with it, too. Um, but I think you've got to look at that and see where those sacks are coming from. Um, Money Waters, after he came out, about nine minutes left, I didn't see him go back in. He, he came back in. Oh, and yeah. then, yeah, he came back in, and then we started rotating uh, some guys, you know, uh, had chances to get some younger guys some reps that, were, that had played good. I thought uh, not a younger guy, but Matthews played really good tonight at linebacker. Um, you know, Jacob Rodriguez got some really good snaps. Uh, Keon um, played really well. And uh, Rabbit got banged up. He got a, a helmet to the thigh. So uh, Tyler Owens came in for him, and I thought he played well. Coach, I know that you mentioned that this is your first time going to and playing at, at NC State and being in that big environment. And then obviously, like you mentioned, a couple of miscues as far as missed catches early on and get down to a 20 nothing hole, but able to get that touchdown late before halftime. How big was that? And what was that talk there at halftime? You know, it was big. Uh, one thing that we talked about at halftime was talk, talking self-inflicted wounds. Um, you know, if you go through that first half, I mean, it, a lot of it was us more than anything. I mean, it, there was seven things that I rattled off to the team that in the first happened that we um, did to ourselves. And so I thought it was really big to bring some momentum into uh, the locker room um, to get that touchdown. And, and you know, coming out, um, you know, we played well early, and then you know we gave up a couple of turnovers and, and let them you know score. I mean, it was a great environment. I think it was great for our players to play in an environment like this. I think we grew tonight as a team, um, you know, and I think we'll we'll grow off of this game. Julia, in your history, you're not used to losing. I mean, for for ten months, seems like nothing has gone wrong for you. Right. At least in terms of outcomes. 
uh, how do you how do you handle this since you don't have a whole lot of experience with uh, coming up on a short night? Well, it's going to go back to our plan to win, and we're going to lose it tomorrow. I mean, that's how we lost the game. There's no like. Uh, you know, don't beat ourselves. We, you know, beat ourselves in penalties. Uh, dominate up front. We gave up four sacks. Um, you know, uh, win the turnover battle. We didn't win the turnover battle. Um, you know, be special on special teams. We were not special on special teams. Uh, you go, win. I think we won the middle eight, so we probably won one of the seven because um, we didn't attack the situations to where it was fourth down conversions, third down conversions, or the red zone. So. It's in black and white. There's never a uh, surprise of why you win or lose a game. There, there really isn't. You know, it's, it goes back to that right there. Um, and, you know, the thing with us, uh, those guys understand it. They believe in it. And so um, it, it's easier to accept in black and white. There wasn't anything magical. We just didn't win the plan to win. I don't, I don't know what they'll say on there, but the fact that you had, uh, they had the two trick play passes both wind up in the end zone. Is Coach Doran run a lot of trick plays or do you think they saw something on the film that says these guys will bite if, uh, if we do this? No, it was uh, uh, T.D. Atelier. Uh, we helped with the call. We were really aggressive on that play. It was a great call by them. Um, you know, we were talking about taking shots because I think it was off of a, uh, uh, I don't know if we, it was a turnover or we didn't get the first down off the fourth down stop. And so we had kind of talked about it, but we were trying to be really aggressive. When you, when you get late in the game like that, there's only so many, many possessions. So if you're not knocking these guys out of field goal range, or you're not trying to take the ball away, you're not going to win the game. And they're up by two touchdowns. So you've got to do things um, to get yourself in a, a good situation. It, there's no moral victories on if we got beat 30 to 14, or we got beat, you know, whatever. You've got to take those chances because the time uh, dictates that you're not going to get the, the snaps that you want to get in the, winning the game. All right. Thanks, Coach. First loss of the season. What were you guys talking about in the locker room afterwards? Uh, just just not beating ourselves. We beat ourselves tonight and just coming back uh, tomorrow and starting over for the next opponent. What's it out to you about NC State's offense tonight in particular? You said what? What's it out to you about NC State's offense tonight in particular? Not, nothing really. We just, we just like, like Coach said, we beat ourselves. And, a good football team, you can't beat yourself and expect to be the ranked 16 opponent. Can you elaborate on that a little bit more? Maybe what you felt that the team was doing kind of beat themselves in this one? Uh, I'm just, it's, a, it's not just one particular thing, it's a, lot, it's a lot of things that happen throughout the game. Tyree, when you guys see a teammate like Bryce suffer an injury as scary as that looked, how, did that, how does that affect y'all uh, mentally? I mean, f football. Football is a violent game. Bryce, Bryce is a good teammate. Uh, he he had his opportunity. It hurts, but the have the game kept going, and you know this, it hurts. But we got to keep playing. You know, uh, Devin Leary. There's a lot of talk about him, obviously, before the game. He set the touchdown passing record here last year to hold the team to a little over 100 yards passing tonight, and I don't think he had a touchdown pass. How good would you have felt about that going in that you could hold it, uh, you know, 120 yards? Uh, going into the game, we knew that we have we have a, a good defense. Uh, that that's what we're capable of doing. Uh, unfortunately, we just we just didn't come out with the W. How did you feel about Michelle's mentality to continue defensively to continue playing hard, getting stands, and keeping the team in the game when the offense was struggling? Um, hey, how far have y'all maybe come? How far have y'all come in that regard? Uh, coach, that's what Coach Caruda really teaches us, and Coach uh, McGuire teaches us every week. So we just we just keep playing, and uh, we can't control what happens. I know you gave it, a, a, you know, your all as far as the team itself there in, in the first half, really, but went down to a twenty nothing deficit. Talk about the offense able to get that late touchdown heading to locker room and kind of build on that confidence heading into the second half. Uh, yeah, what what Coach talks about, we. We feed off of our offense's momentum, and uh, we knew that our offense is capable of doing great things. So we knew we'd come out on defense and to get a stop and give the ball back to the offense. Yeah, uh, the biggest thing we took from this game is just uh, what we always talk about uh, every day: don't beat yourself. Um, it's definitely a game uh, we beat ourselves a little bit. You know, we'll watch film, make corrections, 
and just uh, move on from it because we got another big week coming up. So we got 24 hours. You got to look at it, get everything, uh, what you need to do, what uh, what you need to fix, and everything. Get ready for the next week. Uh, NC State the defense is really good. Uh, they did they did different little things uh, here and there, but nothing too crazy. But they had a solid defense. Coach McGuire mentioned after the game that it wasn't necessarily the players, it was more of the situations that the coaches were putting you guys in. Uh, what were some of the situations that you felt that were most difficult, and especially with that NC State secondary being kind of hot as they were tonight? Yeah, I think it was just a group effort. Like I say, like we always say, like don't beat yourself. You know, sometimes we came out um, and uh, since urgency, you know, is one of the things I can remember. Just you know, we got a penalty, false start penalty coming out, uh, starting our drive. You know, just just little things like that, putting ourselves in situations where we could do better um, and just, just fixing that stuff. It seems that don't beat yourself is the theme tonight. Uh, what does that mean to you? I guess in particular. Yeah, uh, just just seeing seeing the guys open, seeing uh, easy checks that you could just check to get us uh, in, into better plays and stuff like that. Um, just the offense could flow a little better. Dominic, the way last year ended is as big of a high as y'all had. Against Mississippi State, um, how disappointing or humbling is it to um, have a game like tonight when I guess maybe you felt like you were kind of past this? Yeah, yeah, we know we know what we're capable of. Coach McBride said it in the um, in the locker room. We're we're a very cap capable team. We know we, we can play, and when we do uh, fire on all cylinders, we're a great team. We're, we feel like we could be unbeatable. Um, uh, we don't really focus on last year. We're just focused on it right now. Just, just trying to fine tune little things. And we know when we fine tune those little things this week, you know, we'll, we'll have a great week. So, just little things we got to clean up. Uh, going into this game, what did you expect? How, how did you expect their defense to uh, attack you, so to speak, or what kind of works did you expect from them? And did you kind of? See what, was it kind of like you thought it was going to be, or did they surprise you? Yeah, yeah, it, it was kind of just like what we saw uh, in film and what we were repping in practice. You know, uh, they switched it up a little bit on some like some plays and some formations, stuff like that. But other than that, it was basically what we saw all week. So I just got to attack it. The, the pick six that you threw. What do you think you? What, what should you have done on that play? Yeah, just, under, just understanding the situation, uh, not trying to do too much, um, and just, just put the offense in a better position right there. It seems NC State was just able to kind of throw you guys off the group offensively. What made it so tough uh, as they kept, you know, I guess to make consistent drives mm -hmm. against a defense like that? Yeah, again, it really wasn't, they, they didn't really do anything special, they didn't do anything crazy. They, we, we watched some film, it's kind of what they did. It was just a matter of us just executing the plays. Can you talk about facing a good defense last week, once again this week, and then probably going to face a pretty good one next week as as, as well? I mean, you had some, some some highlights in last week, you know, and, and able to get across that big defense. Got on the short side of the stick tonight, but I'm sure there's some positives you can take as well. Yeah, yeah, it's always good playing these good uh, defense because that's what those football is all about. You know, you're going to play a great team every week. You got to be prepared for that. So, you know, we're just preparing for the best defense we're going to play. Just treating them like they're the best defense in the nation. Um, and just, just got to attack it every time we got to play each week.